In this tutorial, we will learn how to use data science algorithms to extract relevant information. Our data set is about license plate fraud. In the license plate fraud, some license plate sellers disclose information about a vehicle to accomplices, such as the number of the license plate, the model and the color of the vehicle. Then accomplices put a similar license plate to a stolen vehicle with the same model and color. When the stolen vehicle gets caught for speeding, it's the owner of the genuine vehicle who is fined for excessive speed. Our data set provides information about the victims and the license plate sellers. The output variable, that is the variable to be explained as court challenge that is true if the victim has contested the alleged infringement, false otherwise. Let's see if we can explain the variable court challenge using the others columns. To do that, we need to switch to the mine data perspective. As you can see, tail of data provides many data science algorithms that run in Hadoop or in standalone mode. Most of these algorithms are powered by Apache ML lib. For this tutorial, let's use a rules extractor powered by tail of data. This algorithm has two interesting features. First, the model produced by the algorithm is human readable, it's a set of rules. Second, although the rule extractor is not as accurate as a random forest for prediction, it has interesting capabilities for weak signals detection. Let's configure the rules extractor, we have to select the input variables. These are the variables used by the algorithm to explain the output variable. As stated before, we choose court challenge as our output variable. Some other properties of the algorithm can be configured. Let's use the default values. We now have to train the algorithm in order to produce a model. That's it, we get a set of rules. Before analyzing the result, we filter our rule set to display only the rules that predict a court challenge, since that is the suspicious case. We sort the filtered rules by coverage then accuracy. The coverage is the ratio of records in the training set for which the rule has been fired. The accuracy is the ratio of correct predictions for the rule. 100% means that there is no prediction error for the rule on the training set. The first rule is very interesting. The coverage is 18.4% of the global data set and the accuracy is 100%. The next rule's coverage is only 2.5% so we don't need to go further since it is probably a model overfit. The rule gives us the name of a company, Dyer, that appears to be implied in a lot of suspicious cases between December 2014 and March 2015. Law enforcement services should probably investigate this company. Thank you for watching. Please, stay tuned for another Tale of Data tutorial.